So, hi, I got this uh, new BMS. This is something called Heltec. Uh, they have a site heltecbms.com. What is special about this one is that it is support, they say 3 or 4S. That means that you can connect all 3 cells or 4 cells. This is a little interesting because they ha you have to check the balance. So, what is, is it is doing with the last cell, it's not very clear to me. Anyway, I'm going to use it for four cells, so I need to use all the wires and connect everything. So what I'm going to do is to use the Sony cells, connect it, and then test it. Another thing that I'm not yet sure, you have uh, everything about the BMS is more or less clear. You have all the connection to test the cell voltage, and you have the battery minus. This is going through the circuit, and basically this is the pin that it is disconnected so you are connecting the a positive of your battery and this will disconnect the negative if there is any problem about C minus and P minus I'm not sure C minus is the charging you have to charge in through this port you're not charging it directly to the battery this is all the balancing the P minus not very clear to me what I'm going to use maybe it's not in use, uh, I didn't find any data, she didn't find anything. So I'm going to connect it to the Sony cells and then we'll try to test it over charging and see if it is doing what it is going to do. I'm not going to do a short, I'm more uh, 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 um, curious about the balancing to see that it is doing the balancing. Other BMS usually don't, not all of them doing the balancing in a good way. So this is the purpose to see that it is doing the balancing, it is charging, discharging, and that's all. So let's start. So I have here my uh, welding welder, the ones that I like the most. You've seen it in other videos. This is uh, the one from AliExpress. So I'm going to use it and we have here the Sony cells and of course what we need first is uh, to weld all the cells together I will use a, a nickel strips a 0.15 8 millimeters and uh, let's start This is how you do it, of course, be careful not to short now because you have short 
uh, in the other side so in order to keep it correct now I need to solder in the middle of course Basically now the battery pack is almost ready, just need terminals and that's all. This is just for welding, so just put in another metals. So basically we finish the welding part. This is a Captain tape. As you can see, pretty easy now. Let's check the balancing of this battery. The cells is uh, charged, fully charged. Okay, charge it, and the other are not. So this is a good uh, chance to check how the balancer is working because one of the cells is fully charged, so we'll be able to see if it is doing its job properly. Okay, so let's start now with the cable. Pretty simple, basically. You go. Uh, with the wires the black is the first so this is the minus of the cell
Oh, sorry, I have one mistake, I think. <coughs> the mistake is that the battery minus, sorry, this should be connected to the battery, of course. This should be connected to the battery. These are the output from the BMS. These are the two outputs, one for the charging and for one for the power. Okay, so this is the power out. So my mistake, this should be power out. We will now test it, okay? Because when I'm thinking about everything, something looks like we missed. Okay, so let's check if uh, this is correct, what we are saying now. Yeah, pretty simple. Need to connect the battery minus. So because the cells are not balanced, so the power minus shouldn't give a voltage out. Let's see if this is actually working now. This will be the first test. So let's see. So now if I'm checking from this to the power minus, aha, there is voltage. I didn't expect it to be like this because the cells are not balanced now. Uh, it is interesting to see if the power is working. How can we do it? We will connect a number. Aha! I wasn't expecting this to work because it seems like the cells are not balanced and we have voltage out so what am I missing with this guy if we connect everything and the cells are not balanced so we shouldn't get power out this is the problem with all the BMS. We don't know if to trust them or not. So you see one cell is 4.12 and the other 3.6. And the BMS is a giving power out, which is something I didn't expect. So now let's try to do the charging to see that at least the balancing, uh, the balancing is working. So I will apply maybe 17 volts, 1 amp. Let's see what is going on with the charging. So I'm connecting now the charge to the charge port and it is charging, you can see that it is charging. Let's see if at least it will stop to charge these cells that is already reached its limit. This one is fully charged, so I don't want it to, well, but it looks, it is charging. Huh. 
This is the problem with all the Chinese BMS. You can't really trust them. You can't trust them. So overall, I don't recommend this one. Maybe it is doing its short circuit or other protection, but I don't know what about the balancing. Another thing that I'm thinking now, because this BMS is to three or four cells, so maybe I don't know what they are doing about the last cell because by by what I see this is the last cell is, that is connected uh, in this battery so maybe they are not testing the last cells this is a little strange to me anyway if they claim that it is three or four so it should work on the balancing also for four cells and not just for three so not sure about it